before the press conference starts, I just have to read out a, a notice. Um, thank you, obviously, for coming today. Um, it's not normally our uh, approach to make uh, restrictions or limitations on press conferences, but I need to make it absolutely clear that questions in relation to Carlos Tevez in general, in relation to his alleged conduct on Tuesday evening and potential ramifications of that conduct, and in relation to his future at the football club are strictly off limits and will not be answered. This restriction also applies to indirect questions on the above topics. Breaches of this request will result in the press conference being suspended. And this decision has been made to protect the interests of all parties and to safeguard the integrity of the investigation that's currently taking place. Which makes my job fun. Can you bring some thin ice in, please? I'm going to start, start skating. Um, under those guidelines, <laughs> um, you were very angry on Tuesday night. As, as your mood softened, are, are you more philosophical? Oh, I guess Munich. No, yeah, you were, you, were ups you were clearly upset after that game. No, no, I was upset because I think that we played very well for 30 minutes. Really well. Probably there, there was two penalties. And uh, after we, we considered two goals that uh, strange. Only this. But uh, I, I know that uh, can happen that we can lose against Bayern Munich. It is, uh, in Champions League, is, uh, every game is very, very hard. But uh, I'm, I'm upset because we considered these two goals. But I'm, I'm happy for the first 30 minutes because we played very well. Have you been encouraged by other managers backing you, saying you're doing a good job? Without talking about Carlos, but talking about they've supported you and said, look, you know, you, you, you said the right things. No, no, but uh, I, I know that if I do well my job or, or not, I, this I can understand. And I'm happy because I think that uh, our season uh, has started very well, and I'm happy. And now it's important that tomorrow we'll do a good job uh, against Blackburn because it will be a very tough game. How how's the squad been? Because I imagine the oh no, it's okay. It's for, uh, they are disappointed for for the for Bayern Munich, but uh, we know that we have uh, another other chance. We can go on the second stage uh, if we win the next games. We won't have a problem. I think. You had the day off on Wednesday. Was it was that important just to get everything out of not only your mind no, but also but out we, of the players' we, we mind? play we play every three days. It's important that uh, sometimes the player can stay at home. Uh, and look at me. Uh, Edin Dzeko's said sorry to you. What can yeah, you tell, yeah, us, yeah, what yeah, can you tell us about the chat that you no, might have no, had? We, did, uh, we didn't, didn't have any problem with Edin, with Zaba, nothing else. With. You're happy with that situation, that that's, that's, all, that's all finished? And yeah, 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 yeah. It was finished uh, uh, Thursday morning, it was finished. Our focus uh, about uh, Blackboard. One no, of the positives of, of Tuesday night was seeing uh, Nigel de Jong playing for Manchester City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, but uh, I don't think that Nile is ready, is ready to play 100% uh, because uh, he played for 30 minutes uh, and maybe he needs uh, to increase his, uh, his work uh, in this day. What about Owen? Instead, 35 uh, out uh, is not easy. Sorry, what about Owen Hargreaves? I mean, obviously, he's had a rest. No, Hargreaves, Hargreaves is good. We continue to, to train. Uh, but I think that also we do when we, we need that time. We one, can. Of, one of the things that's been mentioned in the last 48 hours was an incident with yourself at Sampdoria in 1995. A lot of things were said about coming off a pitch, a six week ban. Can, yeah. can you explain what happened? Is, it, <laughs> is that a similar thing? I, 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 want was, to hear I was sent off. I was sent off. When, uh, when I went to Sven, I said, Sven. Change me because if not the referee probably will set off me. He said, "No, no, stand the pitch, stand the pitch." But after five minutes, uh, I did the fault to the referee, red card. This. But, but entirely different to what happened on, on Tuesday night. I mean, <laughs> it's not. It's not. I'm trying to get you to say it's not. It's not the same, is it? Ah, don't joke me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, domestically, you've done well. Um, you've only dropped the two points against Fulham. How, how important is it to go and get a win after this week at, at, at Blackburn? I think that uh, until now we, we did well. We did well, also in Fulham, because uh, it's difficult to win, uh, to win always. Uh, for us, for United, for all the teams. Also because every, 
every game here is uh, very, very hard. And tomorrow will be uh, like in Fulham. We, we meet uh, a strong team that at home play very well. They beat Arsenal and they play very well. For this, I think that uh, is uh, very important that tomorrow we do well. Uh, maybe we change some players and because we want to have a, a player fresh. Is that what perhaps Fulham taught you most, that it takes time to recover from a Champions League game for people, yeah. players that aren't used to it? Yeah, yeah, but uh, we need to change something uh, between uh, Champions League games and Premier League games. But is that a difficult thing to juggle when it's, a, when it's a new thing, when you've got Champions League and then Premier League? Yeah, no, it's difficult, it's difficult, but we, I think that we were, for example, in Fulham we were uh, unlucky because we had uh, three or four midfielder injured in, for the game. And for this, we didn't change uh, the play in the middle. At the risk of just upsetting Vicky, like one last question. Are you hoping this whole situation will, will just finish quickly? That there'll be a decision? No, no, for me, it's, it's finished. No, but in terms of the club reaching a decision on, on the player? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm the manager. I, our focus uh, regarding uh, Premier, Premier League, Barca's Premier League, and Championship, and Champions League, and FA Cup finish for the other things. It's not my problem. Was it a nice bike road ride into work this morning? Well, the weather... Was it, how's the traffic? <laughs> no, the traffic is not a problem. But it's important, the weather. The weather is incredible now. I, I don't It'll know why. next week. <laughs> no, next week, no. Thank you. Roberto, with your, with your personality, is it easy for you to put complications to one side uh, and focus on the, the next match? No, no for, for me, I, I don't have any complication. Uh, only one complication that we had uh, two days ago was that we lost against Bayern Munich. Only this. Uh, the other, the other, no, absolutely. Also because uh, we can change uh, our way. We started very well. Uh, we can do a, a, a fantastic season. But I not have this problem. Roberto, has this been your hardest week in management? No, no, no. No, no. Normal. No, no, absolutely no, no, no. Why is difficult? Uh, some situation can happen in, in football, uh, in your job. Uh, it's important that when the past is finished. Everything back to normal here in terms of you have a squad of happy players. You've dealt with Edin Dzeko and everything else. Yeah, yeah, else. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Uh, I think that it's normal that uh, one player is not happy to leave the pitch in an important game or to stay on the bench. Uh, this is a, is a normal situation for every manager, every, every three days. Has it been a big week for you, though, in terms of your maybe status has risen at the club? Do you feel that you are stronger here no, after no. this week? For me, it's important that uh, the club is stronger than all the other things. This is a, a more important for, for every club. And after, I hope that the squad will be strong. Do you have a message for supporters? Because it's an expensive trip to Munich. Many yeah, no, no, obviously but felt let down about many things. What would you say to them? No, I think that uh, our supporters, uh, they have a good experience in Munich. I, I can understand that they are not happy because we, we lost the game. And we, are, we could be disappointed also for him. For them, because I think that uh, for them it was better that we we beat we beat uh, Bayern Munich. But uh, I think that uh, we have uh, other chance to go to go through. I think that we we lost uh, this game, but uh, everything can be lost against uh, against Bayern Munich. And you've shown the supporters that the city is still going forward the right way. You will deal with this situation and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. It'll be a happy outcome. Yeah. yeah. Roberto, you've had more difficult times as a manager in Italy, haven't you, with Fiorentina? Why? Because Fiorentina... You had, you had no money, you had no <laughs> was a difficult moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. No, no, no. We had, we had the problem because uh, Fiorentina had uh, a, a problem with money in that, that moment. But... But this, this thing can happen in Italy, in England, if the club has a problem. So has that given you the mental strength for any difficulties you face in your managerial process? I leave my house when I was 13 years old.
what do you think?